Hey guys, what's up? Snuffy's here. Uh, just wanted to stop in. We haven't done a video in a while, so wanted to give you guys an update. Um, we are currently not going to have open play this weekend uh, due to being the holiday uh, with Easter. I know it's a little weird, it's Easter Sunday, but we want everybody to spend time with family. I know that's what we're doing. We plan on going out of town for Easter. So I, I want everybody to be able to spend time with family. I don't want it just to be about airsoft on Saturday. Um, we care. Um, second thing, along with this weekend, we want to wish a really big happy birthday to Kale. Uh, if you're watching this, buddy, happy birthday. Happy early birthday. Uh, for those of you who don't know Kale, he is a local Topeka guy who comes and runs with us, plays a lot of open plays with us. Hopefully going to try and hit some events with us this year. And he's been talking to us about wanting to join the team. So, he's a little young right now. It's coming. So, stick with us. There might be some news for you in the future. Um, but, like I said, we just want to say happy birthday to Kale. Wish him happy birthday on Facebook. Shoot him some cool Facebook pictures. Shoot him this weekend. If Because I think he's going to go up to the Mac. So, shoot him for me. Um, but, really, the reason you guys are probably tuned in is for the important news. Uh, important news is Red Star 2. North Korea or South Korea, whichever one's the bad one. Kim Jong-un, him. Uh, versus U.S. Army is back and it's ready to happen. Uh, we're going to try some cool stuff. It is officially happening now. Uh, I know we were just talk of it. We did it a couple years back. Everybody seemed to like it. We did it at the MAC. Had a great turnout, blast, fun weekend. Um, but we're going to try some different things. We're doing it again. It's going to be at the MAC and it's in June. So it's going to be hot, 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 hot. So drink lots of water, bring Gatorade. Um, Stuff like that. A set date will come soon. It's coming very soon, actually. Uh, so keep your eyes out. But as of right now, in June, Red Star 2, bringing it back. It's going to be fantastic. I'm so excited to announce this. It just, it, it, it's amazing. Um, I, I, I'm so excited. We're getting ready to start having some op meetings to get everything going. So registration should be opening here soon. Um, there may be little details coming out, but it's going to it's gonna get more and more as, the, as we progress into June. Um, Anyways, that, that was the big news. I just want to share a quick story with you guys. This is nothing related to Airsoft. It is a little bit. It's just kind of a learning experience. Um, for those of you who know me and have been right around me, I'm a golfer. Uh, a lot of fun with it. I'm not good, but I like it. Um, there's a group on Facebook that does that sells by trade golfing stuff, kind of like we do with our Airsoft Craigslist. Same thing, same concept. Um, but they had a member that currently has been going through some hard times. Um, he was trying to sell off his clubs to pay to feed his family because he had some issues. Um, and, and the reason I bring this up is just it, it, it kind of touched to me because I've, I've been there. This guy is there. He's to feed his family. I mean, he's got to feed his family. He's got to put food on the table. He's got to support, support his family. Um, so he, for him to do that, he wanted to sell off what he loved. He wanted to sell off his golf clubs. He wanted to get rid of all of it just for a couple more months to hopefully survive. Um, and you know, I've seen a lot of airsofters do that. They sell their stuff because they've had stuff come up, car accidents, fires in their house. I've seen that numerous times. Um, but the thing that I want to bring to everybody's attention is these guys, as a group, banded together without even knowing this guy, really. They just knew who he was. I mean, he's from some other state. A lot of people don't even know who this guy was. They just knew his name. Uh, they banded together and did some stuff, and they donated a lot of They donated some money to him. I don't know how much. I don't know an exact figure, so I'm not going to say... Oh, this guy's living wealthy now. Um, but the reason I bring this up is just, that's a community. That is a nationwide community. That is insane. It blew my mind when I saw these posts of all these people donating money to this guy. That's someone they didn't even know. It was just amazing that they did this. I mean, I'm not saying if someone's in trouble, go give them money. I mean, that's, that's the right thing to do. But what, what I'm saying is, this was a community of people who didn't know each other. This is a nationwide community that not everybody knew everybody. Not everybody knew each other's names, not everybody knew what even the person looked like. Just like it is with Airsoft. We are a national community. Come on guys, this group has got it together. I mean, they stuck up for their brother and their group. Um, and that that touched me, I and mean, that was just insane. I That was the greatest thing I've seen in a long time. Faith in humanity has been restored for a while from these guys. Um, why I bring that up to the Airsofters is, stop the hating and the fighting. 
this is stupid. We are a nationwide, worldwide community. We're here to have fun, play with, gu play with fake guns and shoot each other, guys. If golfers have got this together, that hey, we want to help each other. I'm sure there are people that are like, yeah, whatever. But the, the majority of them wanted to help this guy. And you know what? This guy is forever grateful. I watched his thank you video today. It, it, it almost brought me to tears. It was amazing. Um, so I'm, I, I'm just throwing that out to you guys. I'm not saying, like I said, I'm not saying go donate money to people you don't know. Just be respectful. I mean, I know there's a lot of, lot of drama in Airsoft. There's a lot of drama. But there doesn't have to be. We can all be friends, we can all get together, we can all live together, I mean, we can all play together. If we can get to a big event where there's seven, eight hundred of us, and we can all get along, dude, you're going to see insane gameplay. But, I digress. Uh, it's the end of my little soapbox, I'll step off, somebody else can take it over. Just be mindful, be nice, be kind, I mean, just live a good life, be the right kind of person you know you want to be. Um, but anyways, Red Star 2 is coming up. I'm so excited to announce that. This video drug on a lot longer than I wanted. But anyways, Red Star 2 is coming up. Happy birthday, Kale. You're a great dude. And stick with us because I got a patch that possibly has your name on it, depending on the rest of the team. Um, and remember, respect one another. Respect one another is a huge part of this game for what we do and just life in general. So I, I think that's all I got, guys. Uh, sorry I drug on a little bit. kind of got on the soapbox, but whatever. You guys take care. Have a good night. Be prepared for Red Star. Come out to open plays. Get ready for Copperhead if you're going to that. And we'll see you guys later. You guys have a good night.